everyone, this is Direwolf20, and this is a slight tweak of my sorting system. You can see in my new world here, I've got, um, if I head downstairs into my basement, I've expanded uh, in this area. And I've recreated the sorting system that I created in my Let's Play series with all my uh, macerators and induction furnaces. And if you guys want to see the full details of how this works, um, you're going to want to check out my Let's Play or the video that I did that um, pretty much just features this little system. But let me show you the tweaks that I've made to it. Um, first of all, I have a quarry outside connected to a teleport pipe. So all the items from my quarry are being shot into the system from there. Um, I also have an input pipe up in my main room, and that's where this goes to. Um, that's just a chest where I can put any items in, and the items will get sent into the system as well. Um, the coal, or the, uh, the copper, the tin, the gold, and the iron are all macerated, uh, cooked into bars, and then sent out to my frequency 3 teleport pipe, which actually just sends it back up into my uh, workshop, which I'll show you in a moment. Anything that's not gold, tin, iron, or copper is sent back into this system, uh, which is frequency 4. And frequency 4 lands over here. It's the top teleport pipe, frequency 4. Or it's again distributed. Um, any diamond will go into this crafting system over the green line, and any coal, flint, uranium, diamond, actual itself diamond, not diamond ore, lapis and obsidian are sent um, as well up to my workshop at frequency 3. The same output as this guy. Uh, diamonds are converted using equivalent exchange into gold and are then sent back over frequency 1 back into the system where the gold is then macerated and uh, cooked into gold bars. Meanwhile, anything else, pretty much sand, dirt, cobblestone, and whatnot, you can see are heading off to the left over frequency 2. Um, most of the stuff so far is pretty similar to what I had in the past. Uh, but one of the critiques of my system in the past was that what's the point of automating this diamond production if diamonds are never going to come in through the um, quarry? You're never going to get any diamond ore coming in through the quarry. Uh, thankfully, because of Zelda's wooden pipes that he added, the advanced wooden pipes, um, basically, here is where frequency 2 lands, and there's all the cobblestone landing in the system. Um, as you can see, maybe I'll help it along a little bit, um, it's not storing any diamond ore in here. And the reason for that is an advanced teleport pipe, which only exports diamond ore. And that is sent into my sorting system over frequency 1 again. So if we give this just a moment, it looks like we're getting pretty close to the point where we're going to be able to uh, have some something to see. Okay, it looks like we're getting close here. Once this last piece of stone comes in, it should collapse everything down into a diamond. And you can see the diamond was already pulled out of the system using that wooden pipe. Nothing else gets pulled out except the diamond. Uh, the diamond is then sent along into the sorting area back there, and it should land in this pipe and head off to the right, there it goes, where it's converted into gold. And then the gold will come back over here, hopefully you can see it amongst all the other items. There it is. And the gold will be sent down into the macerator. And there's a dedicated macerator for each type of ore. This one's the gold, there's iron, tin, and copper where the gold will then be cooked and sent back upstairs. And my workshop up here, I've got pretty much an input and an output chest. I can seal this wall back up now. And this is the input chest. Any items I put in here will be sent into the system. And this is where the system dumps out any items for me. So the gold should be making its way in shortly. You can see that this is frequency 3. And there it is. And you can see the chest, basically any copper, iron, I haven't gotten any tin from my quarry yet, but it would have showed up in here. And it's also going to dump any coal. Um, if I were to put, like I showed you guys earlier, maybe some lapis or some obsidian in here, it should just automate, automatically make its way back into this system. So basically all I have to do is go mining and dump everything in this chest here, and it'll automatically sort and it'll macerate what should be macerated and it'll just return any items that should be returned, like the obsidian or the lapis lizardly. So, here comes some uh, iron that was probably just dug up by my quarry, as you can see. 
and I think that pretty much wraps up uh, how this works. I hope you guys enjoyed checking this out, and I'll catch y'all later.